you guys get to see where we stayed last night. Whoops. was a pretty nice place to spend the night. So yesterday we went and visited a fish farm out here in Tacoma still and I just realized it's how hard it is for us to pull over and um, document every single place that we stop and we stay in. Keegan actually finished a whole edit, a whole vlog um, without even without me even noticing. In that time I was trying to fix my laptop which still isn't fixed. It's beyond me, so now we've got to go to Seattle and take it to a repair shop. So that's what we're about to do now. We met Stu Frothingham. That's right, Frothingham at the Greens Transportation Conference last week. And the gentleman has very kindly offered us a place to sleep at his house in Northern Seattle. So we're in Seattle for a couple of days, again, because of the Siva meetup at Puget Sound's Solar Warehouse in southern Seattle. And this will be fun. Look forward to it. You are going on a run. Let's get scratching. Having a Tesla Model X in Seattle and I'm having the time of my life. It's really fun. There's all these gadgets and gizmos. I'm in sports mode right now. I just did autopilot for about 10 minutes up the highway and the car literally drove itself. It was stopping and braking in, in the traffic. It was really fun. I'm having a really good time. Some rubber duckies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to try and make you guys laugh. Yeah. The, um, this is a solar hot water system. It's evacuated tubes and very efficient in climates where you have cold air. But sun comes out. We're, we're lo we've located here on the south side of the house. So we're getting full sun at this time of the year and making 75% of our domestic hot water. So, and these are really <laughs> old inverters. So at the time, you had you, you maxed out at three kilowatts. The old sunny boy. But uh, and this is our production meter. It tracks how much we make. Okay. And we get paid for everything we make. Okay. Cool. Doesn't matter that we use it. We in the Washington State program, the production incentive, you get paid for everything you make. Okay. Cool. And here's our chicks. Say hi to our clocks. Hello. Chucks. Chucks. Chuckies. Yeah. <laughs> when I was designing this thing, I was like, all RVs have have awnings yeah. like, why not make the awning solar powered like especially if it's an electric van so yeah it's like exactly the same sort of thought train it's yeah. like why not make the shade productive yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. net zero and you drive electric all of, all of your vehicles electric too right yeah yeah that's really so cool. all those two little ones are those now, the net zero okay. part doesn't include the car so. oh it doesn't okay yeah. only, only the house the house produces everything that it okay. uses so we still buy power, power from City Light, but, for and, hide, for the car. but it's for the car. It's hydro, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
I, 90, 91% hydro. And we are. Or c- city light is 100%. Oh, you're on city because light. Because it's hydro. Not Puget. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Exactly. Yeah, right. So Seattle city light was, I think, the first one in the country that went 100%. We hydro. should get a solar power mailbox in our van. <laughs> It just got a little four kilowatt hour, you know, battery set, and um, and works great. We use <laughs> two to three kilowatt hours a day for just lights, laptops, cameras, like just that sort of yeah. stuff. So that's that's yeah, about that's like about a, a really um, it's conservative. It's like a really scrupulous household. Yeah. yeah. So we got Jeremy driving <laughs> Carol Joan the second here. How's it how's it handle, mate? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Glad that you guys get to come and have an ad- adventure yeah. in the in oh the van. Oh my goodness, are you kidding? <laughs> Which park are we at here, guys? Mm. Car Keek Park. Car Keek Park in Seattle still? Beautiful, Seattle, baby. sunny Washington. Washington, yeah. It's not very often that we get sunny weather like this, but well, we've been subject to a lovely vegan lunch made by these two legends over here. And we've just watched a movie called 2040 and got swamped by a crowd, but now we're enjoying a nice lunch here in sunny Washington. (laughs) So Joel and Keegan are here in the studio with me today, and this is Pamela Burton with KBFG. And I am so excited. We've been having lots of fun the last few days with these guys. They came to town, we heard about them through the transportation seminar that we were, a bunch of people were attending, including my staff at Tacoma, and they had this amazing vehicle on the floor for everybody to see. It's uh, a step van, and it's covered with solar panels, and you are actually powering the entire thing with solar. And and your your trip is from Alaska to Argentina. That's right, yeah. <laughs> it's quite the adventure. So radio station t-shirts, and a couple of other DC oh, power DC systems. Power systems. <laughs> yeah. So we just finished up here in North Seattle with Pam, Stu, and Jeremy from Puget Sound Solar. Um, they've been epic. They've been showing us around, showing us a really good time. Yeah, now we're heading out of Seattle. We're heading down to Tacoma. Tomorrow we've got a, 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 a dam tour to do down in Alder Lake. And then we're heading off to the beach and we're both very stoked and looking forward to this next part of the journey and leaving Seattle and surrounds. We're out here at Tacoma Power, the Nisqually River hydroelectricity project. Hey guys, Annie Pansky here with Tacoma Public Utilities. I want to tell you a little bit about where you are right now. You are at the Nisqually Project. It is pretty amazing up here. We're about 30 miles south of the city of Tacoma. This is one of the hydro projects that supplies Tacoma, the city of Tacoma, and the South Puget Sound region with clean, renewable energy. Standing on top of the walls of the Nisqually River Project gives perspective to how this facility can provide more than 150,000 people with 470 million kilowatt hours of energy every single year. That's enough energy to charge our van 4.8 million times. During our journey so far, we have passed dozens of these hydro dams as they spin endlessly to supply the energy needs of millions of people throughout North America. Hydroelectricity is a fairly simple concept. Water runs from a large, usually man-made reservoir through a series of pipes directed into a turbine. The turbine acts as a differential, which spins a large shaft attached to a generator to produce usable electricity. Despite this simplicity, at the moment only 3.4 percent of energy produced in the USA comes from hydropower. There is a large demand for this type of clean energy to be further developed throughout the next three decades to meet global climate reduction targets. In North America, the potential to produce hydroelectricity is seemingly endless. An abundance of appropriate settings is only limited by its downfalls. The concrete, for example, to build these towering dam walls has large carbon emissions associated. Furthermore, the flooding of valleys to allow for the dam to exist can destroy forests, biodiversity, and sometimes even displace human civilizations and their cultures. A well-managed dam facility will take all of these factors into account and mitigate them to ensure that hydroelectricity and the surrounding environments can exist in symbiosis. Um, we just launched Patreon, and if you don't know what Patreon is, 
check it out in the link below. <laughs> It's a hacker's tacker's um, way for us to remain sustainable on the road for the next little while, for the next couple of years, essentially, and for you guys to get more from us. You'll be able to get exclusive access to a whole bunch of Root Del Sol behind the scenes things. So check it out. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, hit that subscribe button and then smash the bell button next to it because you want to be notified every single time we upload to YouTube. You wouldn't want to miss out on any of this amazing content that uh, that we've got going on. Love you all. Bye. Bye. <laughs> We're going to Westport. Maybe one of the world's longest, greenest, cleanest. Do you think that he is going to...